Hi everybody, Joe here from Shutter Speak Photography. Very nice to see your smiling face again here on YouTube. So, have you gotten your trusty Z9 camera yet? Well, if you did, or if it's on the way, I'm gonna show you one of the features that's a little bit different on this camera from your Z6 or Z7 or your Z6 II, Z7 II, Z5, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, on your previous version camera, you had the U1, U2, and U3 settings. Now, you'll notice there's no U1, U2, U3 on the dial on this camera. Okay, we don't have that, but we kind of do. Actually, it's kind of a little bit better as well on this camera, of course, and probably not surprised by that. So we have the shooting menu bank on this series of cameras and, and its predecessors, uh, the D65, etc. So what does the shooting menu banks do? Well, there's four of them, A, B, C, and D, and you can name them to whatever you want. And essentially what they do is they allow you to program in all of the settings dialed down to shutter speed and aperture uh, for any particular shooting scenario that you want, program it, program it into a bank and give it its own custom name so you'll know what it is. One of the problems I always had with U1, U2, and U3 was you kind of remember what you'd set them to. So with the shooting menu bank, you can give them a descriptive name that's really gonna help you out here. So what we're gonna do, of course, is we're gonna take a look at this. We're gonna take a look at the extended settings for the shooting menu bank and what that does. And I'm gonna show you in the menu system how to program it in for your own trusty Z9. But of course, before we get started, I'd just like to say thank you for being here. I appreciate you and appreciate you watching. If anything in this video helps you out, please help me out by hitting subscribe and ring the bell to get notified of future updates to this channel. So now that we got that out, let's dive into the menus on our Z9 and we'll take a look at how exactly we program the shooting menu banks and the extended settings. Let's get started. Okay, so in your Nikon Z9 menu, go to the very top camera, the photo shooting menu, and you'll see the first option is the shooting menu bank. And you should be in bank A, because that is the default. And directly below that is the extended menu banks, which is probably off. And you can go ahead and toggle that on if you want to. Now, what the extended menu bank does is changes to exposure settings are going to be stored in the bank currently selected. So any exposure settings would be stored in bank A. Uh, the shooting mode, so for example, if we wanted to shoot in you know, shutter priority or something like aperture priority, whatever, that would be recorded. The shutter speed is gonna be uh, kept if you're in shutter priority or manual mode. The aperture, if you're in aperture priority or manual, and the flash mode. Um, also in the extended banks for video, it's the shooting mode, shutter speed, and aperture. So uh, exposure settings can also be edited in the extended menu banks uh, in the video recording menu. So essentially it's a good thing to have on. It's gonna make your life a lot easier. So I would say turn it on. So. Now let's program out a shooting menu bank. So for example, in this bank, if we just hit the uh, direction pad to the right there, we'll see we have four profiles that we can choose from and we can give them names that are actually kind of meaningful. So I just chose A and set it up for basic everyday photography. And for B, I set this up for high dynamic range HDR shots. So if I choose this profile, I, as soon as I hit that button, it'll go into that profile and now you'll see I'm in shooting menu bank B. And so now at this point I have uh, auto exposure bracketing automatically selected. I'm in aperture priority. I'm at the aperture that I want to be at. I have auto ISO turned off. Uh, so all these settings are automatically applied just by switching to shooting menu bank B. Now, if I wanna deactivate all of those and just go back to regular shooting, I can just go back to A, basic. And in this profile, again, you know, auto exposure bracketing is turned off, uh, auto ISO is on, etc. So you can really dial down everything that you want. So let's say, for example, we wanted to go with uh, a action photography or maybe bird shooting uh, setup. You know, from here now, 
we can just go into C. Once you've selected C, now any changes that you make are only going to apply to C and they're going to stick to C. So you can now go in and change your focus mode. For example, if you want to use 3D focus, you can change your focus mode to 3D. Uh, maybe turn auto ISO on. Maybe you want to be in shutter priority. So switch your camera to shutter priority mode. Maybe set your um, shutter speed to, you know, one, one thousandth of a second. Uh, you know, you can set your base ISO, set it to 64 or, or whatever it is you prefer. Um, and your exposure mode, set your exposure mode. The camera is going to remember all of these things. And once you have that all dialed in, just go right back to shooting man menu bank C and then hit the direction pad again one more time to the right. And now you're going to see rename comes up. And once you hit that, now you can give this shooting menu bank a name of whatever you choose. Okay, so I uh, just go in through the pad here, type in a name, and then press the uh, magnifying glass plus to uh, save that menu out. Okay, so really that's all there is to it. Okay, so just to give you an example, so if I am at basic, okay, and we go into the camera now, let's hit the I menu, and you can see focus peaking is off. Uh, we have silent photography off. We're in shooting bank A. We can change that right from the, the menu, but you can see bracketing is off. Uh, focus type is continuous. Um, we have area mode for our autofocus. Now let's go into bank B, which I have set up for HDR. Now, as soon as we do that, now if we go back here, we're gonna see auto bracketing is now on. We're now on uh, a smaller focus point with single focus. Also, vibration reduction is switched off, so my camera is now set up perfectly the way I would want it for HDR photography. Now, if I didn't want to do that and I needed to switch to something else, I can switch right back to A, and now you'll see all those settings have reset themselves. I'm vibration reduction now on, continuous autofocus, the wider um, focus mode. So you can really go in and dial all this stuff down, and you'll also see, like, I have my, my menu set up for a quick access to a bunch of things. So you can see that auto exposure, auto ISO is set to on in this bank. Now again, let's just change that. Let's go to B. And we're set for HDR. Now if I go back into the menu, you're going to see that auto ISO is off. So this is a very quick way for you to switch back and forth between shooting systems so that you're always able to get whatever type of shot you need uh, very rapidly and you don't have to worry about forgetting a setting because you pre-programmed all of this in so that you don't have to worry about it down the road. All right, well, I hope that helps you out. Um, if it did, the best thing you can do is to help me out by hitting the subscribe button. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, just ring that bell so you get notified of uh, new videos when they come out on the channel. And if you have any questions about setting up your custom menu settings on the Z9 or something that you wish that they had included on the custom settings menus, let me know, leave me a comment. And as many of you probably know, if you leave me a comment, odds are I'm gonna answer you because I do answer about 90% of the people. Even if you just say hi, I'm probably gonna say hi back because that's how I roll. So anyway, again, I appreciate you being here, YouTube. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.